Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today's Lenten meditation topic is Jesus encountering Malchus. After eating the Passover meal with his disciples, Jesus led them out into the Garden of Gethsemane. He left most of the disciples at the edge of the garden and took Peter, James, and John further into the darkness. where he left them as he himself went a little further to pray more earnestly and his sweat was as it were great drop of blood falling down to the ground a few minutes later while jesus spoke to the disciple judas led a band of men and officer from the chief priest and pharisees who came with lanterns and torches and weapons Jesus asked them who they were looking for and they answer him Jesus saw Nazareth Jesus said literally I am the word he is in italic in the King James version which means Jesus did not say he it was added by the translator that's why it is in Italic. As soon as he said, "I am," which is the name of God, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then a scuffle took place, and Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus rebuked Peter and told him to put his sword back. That bring us to this man named Malchus, whose ear Peter cut off. This incident was deemed important enough from the Holy Spirit to guide all four of the gospel writers to record it. All four of them tells us that he was the servant of the high priest, but only John tells us that his name was Malchus. and only john names peter as the disciple that cut off his ear and it was luke alone who tells us that jesus healed malchus cut off ear this is a remarkable miracle perhaps the last miracle that jesus had performed malchus is he an important man no he was not important as far as christianity is concerned and at he is referred in all four gospel and he is even referred to a second time in john's gospel as the servant of the high priest whose ear peter cut off that is all we hear of him in the scripture we never read anything else about him only that peter cut off his ear and jesus healed him nothing else but We all know that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for a reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness. We can observe the following situation as that time Peter cut off Malchus right ear as a result violence was created. Jesus told Peter to put away his sword by this jesus established peace jesus touched his ear and healed him malchus was encountered and healed first in anger and fear peter took his knife and cut off malchus ear which created quarrel among the soldiers and disciples this created the violence then violence is stopped only when jesus healed malchus We know peace and love come from God. Even Jesus in his last hour never departed from his divine value that is showing love. Jesus did miracle and healing for the people who believe that Jesus could heal them. But here Malchus was healed despite his unbelief. It is a paradox. Yet it reveals the love of God that embraces even an unforgivable sinner. 
God's love is not only for the saved and chosen. His love is unconditional for all. This is proved in the Malchus is holy. God's love can encounter the people. Only his love can establish peace in violence. John makes one thing abundantly clear through this passage. Jesus was not taken against his will. Jesus had willingly offered himself as the sacrifice for sin. He was not the victim of an angry mob. He was totally in control. Jesus went to Gethsemane knowing that it will lead to Calvary. We can see our Lord's perfect submission to his Father's will. The Lenten season is the great opportunity to encounter and experience the cross by submitting ourselves to the will of God. Like Malchus, there are many people hide to hurt or even kill others. They do not realize the amount of pain they inflict upon people by healing the one who came to arrest him. Jesus exhibited him unconditional love and forgiveness to the most undeserving. Malchus experienced the healing, forgiving and transformative power of the cross. Let us pray for the deliverance of the victimized and seek grace of God in our personal life. May the peace and love of our triune God be with us. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to follow the example of Jesus our Savior who forgave and healed all those who hurt him make us channels of peace in our society in Jesus name Amen